Hey everyone, today I'm bringing to you my Battle Sister deck profile. I placed first place at the Level Up Cards and Games CPPG event today, a premium event. So today I just wanted to go over the deck and show you what I played. As you can see, I did play Battle Sisters, so let's go ahead and get right into it. So we play the V era starter just because having the extra soul is really important for grade 1 and grade 2 because you really do want those skills to make sure you are able to use your Zazan and do use your draw effects. So, on to the main deck. The main main deck. We play four copies of Fromage. When you on place, counter boss one, soul boss one, draw a card. We have a battle sister. Vanguard, draw a card. So, you draw two, refills your hand. If it's your red going first, you discard a card, you stack your deck, you do so much crazy stuff, especially because the Vanguard skill is an act, is a act on the rear as well, or an auto on the rear. So you can just keep drawing cards the more you have, as long as you have counter blasts available, which is basically all you do in this deck is draw when you have counter blasts. So we play four of the grade two, Battle Sister Triffle. On place, counter blast one, check top three for a Battle Sister, play the Battle Sister, call it, and then put the rest on top of your bottom of your deck in any order. So you get to stack your deck, and you get to play Battle Sisters. This card is insanely good. Let's you play really, really fast, and lets you play really, really nasty because you're able to put crits on top, put crits behind Battle Sisters that you want to check. Just There's so much stuff you can do. It's a really high skill cap the card. As for a very not high skill cap, we have <laughs> Battle Sister Tart, just a vanilla card. We play the vanilla package, obviously. It makes the deck go extremely fast, lets you be able to get huge columns early, and just really punish your opponent. Play three copies of Battle Sister Macaron. This card is really, really good just because, again, early aggression is what this deck does insanely well. You'd be able to play a lot of early, really hard beaters, being able to get a high power without losing much from hand. This card's really good at it because she gets 10k when you check the top of your deck for any reason or you need to search. And that is very easy to do in this list. We have two copies of Battle Sister Sable. So, last Battle Sister draw card when you have three or more Battle Sisters. Keeps your gas going, just never let your foot off the pedal. Consistently replace cards in your hand and just keep drawing. Then we play one copy of Silent Tom. You don't want to play too many Silent Toms because the battle next Battle Sister, which is Battle Sister Torijas, that's Spanish I think, um, what this does is it checks the top card of your deck for a Battle Sister. If you have a Battle Sister, add it to your hand. So with the packages we're playing, we're playing the Tempest here obviously, and we're playing it two, or we're playing the two PGs and then the Psychic Birds. So we're playing about seven cards that aren't Battle Sisters. So this can miss, and you don't want to be missing on Toms. You want to get this off all the time. But other than that, Tom is incredibly good just because you can't card when you're playing Chikishima. Why not play it? The next, obviously, this card, really, really strong. Keeps the pedal on because all these cards replace themselves. And what's good about that is the fact they all replace themselves means you're never losing hand by playing them. So, when you just keep the gas on and you have high power, it really translates to a lot of aggression and being able to play a lot of defense. Next is obviously Tempest Sphere. And where is he? There he is, his hand. So, it speaks for itself. You play Vanillas that are tribals. You're able to destroy your opponent by getting 5Ks. Really, really good. Plus one off the both effects. Doing more than that this is a plus, like plus three or four. Yes, I don't know why these cards, these are so good. Uh, we play three of the Stride Fodder. Just good because we're only running four grade threes. So striding can be an issue, but we usually draw enough and we usually filter enough for Battle Scissors that it's not a problem to get to. And then we play four of the Vanilla. 19k with two Cyclones, 14k with one. Hits extremely hard. Then for triggers, we play 12 Vanillas. great to just great to get off your tempest here great because two of these are battle sensors so they get your boost effects from your strides in your uh, grade three just really good however for non vanilla triggers we play two miss mist and two muffin um miss mist is great it's bobby's pg and then this is great because it gives 3k which can push you over some certain th number thresholds and when you attack counter charge two so what you do is, if your opponent gives you too much damage early, say they give you like two damage early, they're playing really aggressive, they check a crit on you, you can use your Tempest Sphere and all some of your other effects, gain a bunch of pluses, get huge field presence, slam this down, counter charge two, 
and you're basically like in the driver's seat because now you could just keep throwing down fromages and keep drawing a ton of cards and you're like super far ahead in advantage after that happens. You have to play a little bit defensively, but just the card opens up so much. Being able to have access to counter charging in a deck that draws so much from counter charge from counter blast. All right, onto the Gizum. Starting with four Battle Sister Stolen. This is like the best stride that they could have when you uh, when they take a lot of guard a lot early. Say your hand's not the best. This card is really good because if you open Tempest Sphere, you can easily have them at GB three, which gives you six K across the board on top of your Cyclones, on top of everything else. You push damage really fast considering you're also stacking your deck offensively or defensively. It just, this card seeks through itself. It's just so good. I love this card. So we play three copies of Momo. Interesting story. I ordered Ichigashimas. Uh, they didn't get here on time. So we had to resort to other finishers. Uh, Momo herself, I would play at one in the list, but we played at a three today. The card's really, really good. You basically restand, you get a ton of power. It has no guard restricting though, so it's, you have to rely on other guard restricting, which relies on rewriting a grade three. It's not the best, but still a great card because it can flip up a cyclone because it's flip up anything. But then you get a restand, you have huge power. It's like a lot of pressure if your opponent's not playing protect because I'm a PG. So when I, I played against a lot of aggro today, so I just blew people out with this. Three copies of Storm Element Cyclone. Yeah, Cycloned. Card is disgusting. And on to our G cards. We play one of the Ichibiyoshi. I'll replace this with the Ichikishima when I get it. But then two Excite Battle Sister Bavarios. Card's really, really insanely good because you get a draw off of it. You get a defensive draw, which can either fill out your protect markers, it can fill out your PGs, it can just add extra plays to your hand. It does so much. And then. Amaterasu, this has access to your soul charging because you soul blast a lot in this deck. You soul blast for Zazan, you soul blast for your Sable, you soul blast for Fromages multiple times. So having access to extra soul charging is really strong. So that about does it. Uh, I think this deck is pretty strong. I think it's really fun to play. Extremely fun to play because you're able to have, you know, extreme mind games on your opponent because, like, are you stacking crits? Are you stacking crits for your defense? Are you stacking heals for your defensive? This is a lot that's fun with this deck. I think it's really good too, because it has access to a game plan that a lot of decks don't have access to, which is one of the one of the best grade two deck games that's in the game right now. Playing Trifle and playing your vanillas and then your macarons not being at limb GB1 accessed. So strong. So, anyways, thank you guys for watching. Go ahead and follow PP CPBG. They do great stuff. And go ahead and follow Siren's channel because he's the one posting it. So thanks guys.